made that track is the best track in the record, so it seemed quite natural to have the, uh, the, title, the title being the best track in the record. Obviously, I think the first thing that people will think is that we, we absolutely hate it here in Scotland, and uh, that's what the, the album's referring to. Um, I'm not sure that's the case. I think it's just referring to um, our general collective disdain of um, our lives in Scotland and in Glasgow in particular. Uh, I could have always had a round joke about um, no really uh, giving a toss about Camera Obscura in Britain. I think it's possibly just the fact we'd love to broaden our horizons, we'd love to get out here and actually uh, play our music all over the world. six choruses in that song, I think, or maybe seven, which is pretty crazy. The first single and a response to a Lloyd Cole and Commotion song um, called Are You Ready To Be Heartbroken? And apparently he likes it. Well, it's kind of, it's not about Lloyd Cole. People are saying, "Oh, is it about Lloyd Cole?" It's not about him, but it's a, a replying to his song. Are you ready to be heartbroken? Yes, Lloyd, I'm ready to be heartbroken. That was a song that came together quite late on. So it's got nice percussion. I think when it was written I sort of imagined or fantasised about it, getting onto some sort of David Lynch soundtrack one day, because it's a bit sort of sleazy. and the trumpets are just enormous. We recently played it in the South by Southwest and for the first time ever, and possibly only time, the front row of the crowd actually had their hands covering their ears. When we play Razzle Dazzle Roll Rose live, my head bobs up and down too much, so I'm going to have to get a uh, band for my glasses because uh, with the sweat usually it's at the end the glasses fall off it frightens scary apparently I think she's quite surprised that we could make that sort of a racket it's probably the most danceable song we've ever recorded Lying around in my pants in the summer. I love my girlfriend. Part of this one. Peace and quiet. The drums. Sitcoms. They're really good. Especially ones from the 70s. Corn sausages. Watching most uh, team sports. You know, that's it. Okay. That's it. Huffy people. Pretentious people. Arrogant people. People who make assumptions. Autistic boys in music where, you know, music and uh, records are tr like top trumps to them. Litterbugs. Daleks. Dog dirt on the <laughs> pavement. The 62 bus because it's quite scary. And obviously I don't like war.
obviously I wanted to be able to be in the group full time, give up my job and that's the, and then therefore the band would be my job. But that's as ambitious as I would like to admit, because there's no point in living in La La Land. I I'd like to think that we wrote mu music that provoked some sort of emotion in, in people because that's what I want from music. Back speak to once you finish. Remember what I'm saying there? Okay. Let's friend each other for a couple of seasons.